Hello there guys, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In the previous video, we had a look at using uh, adapters and their search, update and delete methods. And in today's video, we are going to see how we can create our own methods and add them to the adapter. So, the, to start, uh, we have uh, a database containing one table called users. And that users table uh, consists of user ID, username, user age, and we have a number of users 1, 2, 3, Smith, Todd, Linda, with their ages 22, 32, 25. So, first thing we want to do is uh, add a data source. Um, let me add that quickly. And let's make that finish. Okay. And uh, if we go back here, Go to the data set. This is the data set, no problem there. Uh, let me drag and drop that into the form. Okay, very straightforward, very easy. Now, uh, if you remember from the previous video, uh, when we wanted to update one of the records, uh, things wasn't that easy. Uh, well, it was kind of easy, but it's not very. Uh, let's say we want to update the record for a user's table. You need to specify the new username, the new user age, and the old user ID, and the old username, and the old user age. Okay, so passing too many parameters. What if we want to update a user by, you know, pure parameters, update the user name only? based on the user ID. What should we do? Well, basically we need to create our own update statement. To do that, things are very easy. You just go here. Uh, the first part over here, these are the name of the columns. However, the second part here, these are the methods or functions that you create to communicate with the database. The designer created the following data which will fold the table for you. Now, we want to, pair, to create our own update, so we are going to right click here, select add, and select a query. And now it's going to ask you what type of query do you want. Well, do you want to use SQL statement. Well, there are other things like store the procedure, etc. So we are going to create a SQL statement, click next. Now, we want to create an update statement, click next. Now, the wizard creates a SQL statement for you. Uh, I'm going to delete that, I don't want it. And I'm going to use a query builder to simplify things a little bit. So I will select the user's table. Okay, close that. And I want to update what? The username. Now, I want the username to be at username. Now, the at symbol means that I am passing a parameter. So the name after, after it. Uh, it will be replaced by a value that I am passing later on. Okay? And this doesn't have to be username, I can just say a new name. Okay, let me use a new name. And here I'm going to use a condition, filter condition, so that it doesn't update everything. Uh, only the required user, uh, where user ID equal at ID. Okay? It's a very simple SQL statement. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna hit next, and it's gonna ask me what the name of the function is. So I'm gonna say update name by ID. Very simple. I press next and hit finish. Okay, so when this one gets created, if you go here, you'll find what you'll find the parameters. Click on the ellipses now. The first parameter is going to be the new name, the second is the ID. Well, I like to have the ID first, so I'm going to put it first. You just use these arrows. And I'm going to hit OK. Um, let me go back here. Let me go back to the form. And uh, I'm going to add a button for update. And then let me add two text boxes. This is the first one. This is the second one. Okay. And uh, can we update? 
this is the Xbox One, the Xbox Two. Okay. So I'm gonna say this dot users table adapter dot update name by ID. Open that. The first uh, parameter is the ID, as you can see. So you have int dot parse. This is gonna be text box one dot text. Okay. And the second parameter is gonna be the uh, sorry. Gonna be text box two dot text okay also what do you want to do uh, what you might want to do as well is well for the data uh, set again so that you can see updated values and uh, let's let's try to do that so one I'm gonna put the values R here you can see it changed Two. Oh, not ours. T's and three. You have U's, and it works. Okay, so now we just finished, uh, you know, our update method. Now let us create another one. Okay, and uh, this one will be well. Uh, if uh, will be used to fold the, the data table. Well, the uh, current SQL statement you can see it returns all the rows. But what if we want to create a filter uh, so that you can only return the values that are uh, or the people uh, those ages above a specific uh, limit, okay, or below a specific limit. So here we can also right click. Select add a query. We're going to use a SQL statement. Uh, we are going to select the one that returns rows. Next, and we just put a filter where user age is smaller than at age. Okay. We press next, and it's going to ask us about the name, the method. So I'm going to say full by age. Okay, and this this one is gonna be get data by age. Full by age is gonna fall an existing data table. Get data by age is gonna generate a data table for you. So I'm gonna say next and finish. So this one is finished now. So what are we gonna do here? I'm gonna uh, change that or maybe add another button. Where's that? This is the button here. Go. And then I'm gonna say uh, filter okay and uh, I'm gonna say here control C control T I'm kind of lazy so here full by age so the first parameter is going to be what the same data table but the second parameter I need to pass an integer so since I'm lazy again I will copy that and put it here okay so we'll get the text in the first text box and uh, convert that to integer and pass it to the method. And let us see. So uh, I'm gonna use 20 plus this one. Okay. So no one is younger than 20. What about the 25? Filter that we have Smith. What about uh, 28? Filter that we have Linda and Smith. Video 28. What about 31? Uh, okay. What about uh, 40? Okay. So you can see that uh, we can create our own full methods, uh, our own update and delete, and pass the parameters that we like. Uh, and all of that is being added to the uh, to the uh, table adapter and in every case uh, when we create these what are we using we are using a SQL statement and this is why we we uh, we had a quick uh, review on SQL with previous videos um, I hope this uh, uh, was useful for you guys and uh, yeah uh, I think that's it for today thank you for watching uh, and have a wonderful day bye bye